centered in our hearts and feeling that love and that connection with the divine, our lives will just flow more easily, more smoothly, and we'll feel that connection, we'll feel that guidance, that love, that peace, and that joy that we are, I know we're all looking for and seeking. So with that, um, it's just a really brief introduction. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So everybody go ahead and close your eyes. And just take a deep breath in. And then hold it. And then exhale. Go ahead and take another deep breath in and hold it. And then exhale with a sigh. And let go of all the worries of the day. Feel yourself beginning to relax. One more time, inhale deeply and hold your breath. And then exhale with a sigh. And as you're relaxing your body, feeling that peace and calm around you, Go ahead and if you have anyone that you're concerned about, that you know is struggling, whether it be physical, emotional, whatever it is, spiritually, just put them in our circle so that they can receive that blessing and that love and that healing. And then as I play the flute, go ahead and set your intentions for what you would like to receive during this sound shower. And if you don't know what to look, ask for, just ask for what is ever your highest good. The divine knows what we need and what's best for us. We just need to connect with that and allow it to flow through our life.
As I play the drum, feel yourself being grounded to Mother Earth. Connecting to that heartbeat of the Mother Earth. Becoming one with Mother Earth. And feel that Mother Earth energy flowing up through the bottom of your feet and entering into your body. Feel that groundingness. Feel that nurturing, mothering energy. are completely protected. All of your daily needs are met. You feel connected to the earth and to those all around you. feel safe and secure. You and the Divine Mother are one.
Now imagine that you are in a beautiful cathedral. Slowly, the ceiling of the great cathedral begins to dissolve before you. An unbelievable brilliance and outpouring of divine love shines and pours forth upon you from far above. You can feel your spiritual heart being refined and transformed by divine love, by source. Your spiritual heart continues to open further so as to become the functioning center of your being, the center of and the origin of all feelings in your life as you bask in the presence of pure love, the unifying radiance of divine love.
every level and part of your spiritual heart is wide open. There is only oneness of being with divine love. No separation, only unity. You are overflowing with divine love. You feel the peace and serenity of the divine upon you. As a vessel and embodiment of divine love, send divine love to your family and friends. Flood the earth and everyone on the earth with divine love.
Now spend some time in oneness with Source, communing in divine love.
So take a deep breath in through your heart chakra. And then exhale with a sigh. Become aware of yourself once more. Take another deep breath in through your heart chakra. And then exhale with a sigh. Take notice of what you're feeling right now. Take one more deep breath in through your heart chakra. And then exhale with a sigh. Become present in this moment. Fully connected to your body. Feel that connection to the divine. And know that you are loved, that you are blessed, and that you are that light. We shine our light out to the world and as we do we change the world we change everyone's life that we come in contact with by sharing our light and sharing that divine love that is now flowing through your heart we are making the world a better place And when you are ready, open your eyes, feeling safe, centered, and grounded. And if anyone has anything to share once they're back into their bodies and <laughs> feeling more present, um, you can go ahead and share. Is it okay if I share it, Deb? Go ahead, Chandra, go ahead. Speak up a little bit. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try. Uh, sorry, <laughs> if, uh, my computer volume's kinda wonky. Um, well, when, when the whole thing started, um, I know that the, uh, the, the flute stuff and the, um, rain stick and I can't remember what that other thing is um those started making me go down deep and that and I was starting to think that was oh I was gonna go on this little 
mental journey somewhere, but all, you know, all of a sudden after the bowls started, I'm like, I just suddenly came back and I could feel everything in my body, like tingling all over the place. Like, like, you know, like somebody having little acupuncture things stuck in their body. <laughs> okay. This is happening. What is going on here? I guess my body needs, must need healing or something. I don't know. Cause I was getting all over the place. And I was starting to get itchy. I was like, Oh yeah. Good grief. Um, and then my brain started going on absolute warp drive. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I don't know, like for some reason, the bowls and the, um, all of the crystal stuff was just, I was going bing, 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 bing from my thoughts to thoughts to thoughts to thoughts. It's like, mm -hmm. slow the heck down. And then you started singing and all of a sudden I get this pressure in the middle of my head. I'm like, okay, I got the shut up button. <laughs> So, um, yeah, my brain finally shut up right near the end. <laughs> well, good. So, um, it was a very interesting, very good experience. I did feel, um, some of my body parts loosen, um, and feel a little better. You know? So that was, that was a good thing. Um, I can give this, uh, I was able to hear all of the, the sounds myself very well. So oh, good. Um, they they were very penetrating. Believe <laughs> that the very. That's awesome. Well, when you when you were describing what's happening to you with the bowls and stuff, the crystal, I was getting that you were being um, expanded, and new energies were coming in, and your frequencies were being raised, and that's why you were being itchy all over. Yeah. Uncle Jeff talks about it all, all the time, about how when the energies are coming in and he gets itchy, it's because his being is being expanded and being the frequency is being raised. Um, and then when I was singing at the very end, um, your third eye was being activated. It was opening up that third eye, um, yeah. which, is, this, which is awesome. Yes, yes, very much so. I I feel like I got a really decent experience out of it. And I, I was thinking to myself, I got to do this again when I get up there. <laughs> <laughs> I got to do this again. <laughs> yes. We'll do it again. Well, thank yeah. you for sharing, Chandra. Um, ben wants to share some. Okay. Come closer so you can share your opinions on the matter. <laughs> so itchy. My God. <laughs> Ugh. Mine was pretty much the same experience as hers, you know, um, except for a little bit of time, I think I did go down, but it was a very brief period. Um, I'm not sure how many minutes lasted. Um, and then I was pulled out of it because, well, um, my leg decided to jolt like it does, you know, when you're at the doctor and you get the reflex thing checked and that, and that kind of um, pulled me out of being under and then I had the brain talking a lot moment throughout most of the rest of it. Okay, well, I'm glad you were able to experience some of it. That's good. That's a good thing. It was pretty much similar to what she had, except for just like that brain <laughs> <next> moment. <laughs> well, and things will continue to happen as, as the night goes on, and then you may notice some more things happening in the next couple of days. So um, the energies have been started and they will continue to um, manifest in your body and things will start happening. So just be aware that things may be shifting. You may start feeling different things in your body and that's okay. That's good. That's a good thing. Yeah, it, it was definitely for, for us too. It was definitely wonderful. Oh, and of course, because we have two dogs, our dogs were literally clunked out. Oh, good. <laughs> the animals love the energy. They they do. So it was good energies coming in. Oh, good. So thought I thought I'd let you know. It was well, really thank you for sharing. Um, is there anybody else that likes to share? Anything to say? I have a kind of more of a question. Okay. Um. I noticed this more toward the end and I've kind of noticed this sometimes on my own too, like when I'm waking up sometimes in the morning, but what is it, does it mean anything 
when you kind of have like your whole body just feels like it's vibrating. Yeah, again, that's another indication that your frequencies are being raised and energies are pouring in. Um, I have that. My body vibrates. Jeff gets the itchies. I, I vibrate. So um, it means the energies are coming in and you're being filled with that energy and your body's um, are being frequencies are being raised. Um, and that's a good thing. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Anybody else? Hey, Deborah. Hi. That was awesome. Hi, Marcy. <laughs> Hi. I, <laughs> I'm not real functional, but I'm going to give it a whirl here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, tons of clearing, just tons of clearing. Um, you know, those stacks of threaded things like Jeff talks about, like old memories and stuff. Just like, whoa, that's coming up again, just peeling off, um, heating up, hands getting really hot. My hands are still hot. Um, the, whatever you played uh, right after the crystal harp, well, right, right after you said, um, let's see, what was it? Communing with Source. Uh -huh. Right after you said that, you start you started to play like a really high, really light note, and that was that was just like beautiful, beautiful. I, I think it was still the Crystal Heart, but it was super light, super light. Yeah, that was the um, think, that was the high C note on the Crystal Harp. Okay. I don't think I'd ever heard you play that before. It was like, whoa. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. And then the, the hand pan thing, um, that was cool because it was, after a while, it was like, it felt like you were really getting into it. And it was like, oh, I hope she keeps going. I, because it, um, like from the navel area down, it was like um, releasing stuff. And then it got to a point where, uh, you know, like where your body won't move, uh -huh. it was like that. You know, like you're frozen, and it was just like, wow. It did. It's not like the favorite sound, but it did so much stuff. Yeah, it those, was just those... like. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it was really, really, really cool. And then at the end, when you were singing, um, some light beings. Uh, uh, I don't know, star elders, there were, uh, these other beings were watching. They came, it just popped in. Maybe they were there the whole time. I didn't see them, but they just popped in and they were watching. And that oh, was awesome. really, um, yeah, that was cool. So, yeah, I wasn't yeah, planning awesome, on singing. Awesome. <laughs> I wasn't planning on singing, but that just happened. Just like, okay, I'm singing, I'm singing now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it was like they were interested or something. It was like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> and, and funny you uh, mentioned, um, because when I was singing, I felt like it was coming from the stars. Like it was not coming okay. from this earthly plane. It was just coming from somewhere else, which I found fascinating. Yeah, yeah. I like the first thing I thought was star elders was what I thought. So anyway, yeah, yeah it was totally cool. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. And just by the way, <laughs> your hands are really hot. I am still sweating. I am so hot. The energies are still pouring through me. I got really, really hot oh, when yeah. I was playing the crystal harp. I mean, hot. this is the hottest I've ever been. I mean, I was sweating. It was just so hot. <laughs> There's so much energy coming yeah, in. Yeah, the whole, my whole body is hot, but my hands are super noticeable. It's just like, oh, huh, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, well, good. Thank, Thank you for sharing. You. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Hi, Deborah. Thank Hi. you. That was amazing. Hi, Paula. When you were doing the the one you're you're leaning against there, I can't. I'm sorry, I don't remember the name. The it hand was, hand. I, 
Yeah, it was my root chakra was just really wide open. So it was amazing. I actually heard myself say, oh, that's working in your tailbone area. Wow. Yeah. So thank you. It sounded wonderful. The, the, all the um, instruments sounded really good. And besides the joy of the energy, but that came through really nicely. Thank you. Oh, good. Thank you. It's been a, it's been a journey. <laughs> so thank you for being here and thank you for sharing. Somehow, this is Pat. Hi, Pat. Somehow, hi. <laughs> First of all, my heart chakra is so expanded. It's just, I realized as, uh, as Marcy was talking, oh my gosh, I can just feel it going out for miles and miles. And uh, I did the Pat thing to where I was, I was totally gone, but I was like also present. I don't know that I've really experienced that particular way of being this, but I have now. That's so. awesome. The masters talk about that, you know, being able to be totally immersed in the energies and being deeply connected, but also being aware of what's going on around you. Um, mm. So, so you're, you're in the world, but not of it kind of thing. Um, so that's what we are to be doing, to be connected, but also be aware that we're connected. So you have that that happened. That's awesome. Well, wow. <laughs> I, I just have to thank you so much because it, it was oh, totally amazing. Wonderful. Well, and and I have to say too, as everyone, as so many have commented about, about the singing, oh my word, it was um angelic, heavenly. Yes. Thank you, little angel. Yeah, thank you, whoever it was that came through and said, you were supposed to sing. And I'm, I'm thinking, no, I'm not supposed to sing. And then they're saying, yes, you're supposed to sing. I'm like, okay, I'm singing now. <laughs> so <laughs> just, just listening to that guidance and allowing it to just to, to flow through. So that's what I've been doing. Wow. Thanks again. How about you, Franny? You still there? <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Hi. I'm still coming back. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm I'm still uh, I'm still kind of reacting to people saying that they loved your singing. And I'm like, was there singing? Like, how <laughs> did I miss the singing? <laughs> um so I I wasn't here for that part. I was far, far away. Um, it took me a while to sort of drop in and really um, just to shift gears out of my normal day into the sacred space. Yeah. And um, I tried to, I don't know how to say it, really deepen my attention to each of the instruments that you played. And so the crystal harp um, was really, really lovely. And then once you started the bowls, I was, I was gone. I didn't, I didn't hear it. Well, I won't say I didn't hear anything else because I do, I did recognize the hand pan, but I, I don't remember anything else. And I don't remember you ending or saying, come back now or anything. I was just aware of people talking and, um, so anyway, I th it was it was all really really lovely, really lovely. Yeah. Just so you know, that I was singing at the very end. That was the last thing I I did before I played the bell. With the singing was at the very <laughs> very end. Oh. <laughs> mm. Wow. Well, thank you, Franny. Yeah. You'll be processing more and, and more for a while, probably. <laughs> Oh, it just felt lovely. I feel like I'm, yeah, I feel like I've had a good long nap. Oh, good. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. How about you, Erin? How'd you do? Uh, it was really nice. 
um, it was interesting because just a wide variety of thoughts came up of things that I haven't thought about in a really long time. So that was cool. And it just, you know, would just cycle through like this thought or this memory and then just kept going for quite a while. And yeah, and then there was a point where I probably went really deep. I could kind of hear everything, but kind of not. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, and I set the intention to clear like my whole house space as well. Oh, good. Yeah, because that has been needed. So I feel like that's happened. Like it just feels lighter here now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and definitely the singing was just very soothing. So I'm just feeling in a nice, peaceful, gentle space right now. Wonderful. And all those thoughts that were coming up, of course, you were releasing as they were bringing them up, they were being released. So that's a good thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So thank you. You're welcome. How about you, Dan and Kathy? How are you doing over there? Oh, it was great to be on the receiving end this time. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. yeah. It, um, um, we're still learning about our equipment and stuff. And so it, um, we learned even more to tonight about it. So <laughs> <laughs> great experience all around. Oh, good. That's wonderful. Yeah, thank you guys for putting this on. Oh, no problem. Thank you for being here. Oh, man. And sharing with the energy. This is awesome. Yeah. All right. Anybody have any last thoughts before we close? Okay. The, I'm going to be making um, a copy of this recording and putting it out on YouTube. Um, probably tomorrow it'll be out there so you'll be able to hear it again and it'll also be on our website the um we're going to try and do another zoom sh sh shower i think it's let me hang on a second on the 8th of june the 8th of june we'll do it again um and see how things go and um Yes, that's all I really have to say at this point. But I want to thank you all for being here. And just know as we go out into the world, of course, we're not going to be out tonight because we're at home. But when we get ready to go out tomorrow, that we are carrying that love from the divine in our hearts all the time. And we're always connected. And we are always um, shining our light. And so as we live from our heart, our life will flow more effortlessly. Things will start manifesting. Things will fall away that no longer serve us. And we will be able to be more connected to our path and what we're to do with our life. So um, just continue to feel that connection and be in that love. So if everybody would just close your eyes real quickly and... Um, imagine yourself being completely immersed in white light. From the divine. And I'm going to do a modified grounding exercise. Just imagine yourself being connected to Mother Earth. and feel her energy, that Mother Earth energy, 
grounding energy flowing up through your, your feet. And then imagine yourself being connected to the divine. And feel that energy from the divine flowing down through you. So you're connected to the Mother Earth, but also connected to the divine. And that's what we are to be all the time, is being connected. Being on the earth, but not of it. Being able to walk that master path of being connected, living from our hearts, and sharing our love and the divine love with others. So thank you all for being here. Know that you are blessed. And that you are loved. And until we meet again, namaste everyone. And we will talk to you soon. Namaste everybody. Love you all. Love you all. Thank you. Thank you. All right. We'll see you all the next time.